Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We had a little bit of a break. Australia has been waiting for hold deliveries forever. Uh, COVID shipping is an absolute nightmare, but we're very happy to be back. Today, we're gonna to be setting with these Australian first Rock City holds. These are some very slick looking fiberglass macros, and I am really excited to try and set some kind of comp style trickiness up the steep with these guys. Lots of different uh, angles on here, some nice basic shapes, frothing to get these on the wall and uh, looking forward to trying it with the team. When I first unboxed the holds, I was really impressed by the finish. So yeah, basically the, the, these guys, this is my first. Look, ooh, look at this, look at this glossy finish. Wow. Yeah, look at that, that's pretty schmick. I really like the, the screw fixtures. This looks like very, very good quality. Yeah. I wanted to have a play with a bit of a, a comp style concept. Uh, we got these holds because they were part of the Olympics order and we were pretty psyched to set with some very high quality comp style kind of holds. And they've come in this orange, black, uh, black ice kind of dual texture thing and just feels very compy and a bit different. So I wanted to try and experiment and do something uh, on the steep section of wall. Might try and do some sort of like tricky toe hook catch, something like that. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna kind of freestyle a little bit. Um, and if it doesn't work, then it could become anything. We'll see. Let's try that. Woo! I don't know if this is gonna work, guys. Can you try that? All right, we did a bunch of testing, made sure we had some shorty options, we had some tally options. We uh, I think we got to a place where we were pretty happy. So we ended up settling on an idea where we're gonna start with double toe hooks to establish on a slopey hold that you can't just pull onto without a toe hook. I'm just gonna make a couple little tweaks uh, to make sure that it's inclusive and as fair as we can make it at the grade. I think we're getting somewhere, psyched. All right, this is going down a touch, right? Yeah. It took a while to get there, lots of different little iterations. Oh, I wanted to go one way and what I'd planned didn't quite work, and, but when we kind of shifted tack, I think it, it came together. And it was great to have Nick come in as well and get to watch him try the boulder. I think the other good thing about having a better catch hold as opposed to something where you have to hold a lot of tension is that people won't feel reluctant to jump to something that's pretty good. Yeah. So they'll be more likely to use this left foot and get to do that big hero cut than trying to find like a techie heel option. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, people will do what they enjoy, but try and curate a bit of an experience. Yeah, I, I said before, like they're, they're on the more expensive end of the spectrum in terms of holds, but I think that you're paying for a hold that looks amazing, feels amazing, good texture and quality that's gonna last a long time. So if you wanna get your hands on some of these sweet Rock City holds in Australia, they are now being distributed by Climbing Anchors. They've got a new warehouse out in Regents Park and it's eventually gonna be a place where you can go and actually physically shop 
holds, which is amazing. It's a bit of a game changer for us climbing gyms in Sydney, at least being able to go to a location, actually physically look, see, touch the holds and say, I'm going to take that. They will have Rock City, Neo and Metolius as their climbing brands as it stands, I believe. Uh, but go over to their website, check it out.